Today we're going to talk about the retrosynthesis of, of, of Michael addition. So what if on an exam you're given to make this compound here? Yeah. The first thing I notice is that this is a 1,5 dicarbonyl. Anytime it's in a 1,5 position, I'm thinking about Michael. Okay, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and we know that these come from conjugate addition. So if I'm looking at this, we know that this could come from, we, we could break the bond here. So no, this has come from a conjugate ketone plus, well, this is the bond that formed. This is the bond that formed between the, between this compound and these two. So I know that this could be coming from this. Okay, so these are my products. Okay, and we know that this is going to be my alpha carbon. So if I take this and put it in base, yeah, I deprotonate. So I generate my negative charge. Okay, and remember we have terminal addition. So if I'm looking at this, this will be bonded to this carbon. Okay, terminal addition, we just lose our double bond. And we just draw the structure as it is. So if, if this is true, then we come to something. There's my alpha carbon. This carbon is now bonded to this carbon. I lose my double bond. And that carbon is bonded to this carbon that has my ketone. And there's a structure. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so anytime I see any sort of one, five position kind of carbonyl, I'm thinking about Michael addition. Okay. Now, what if we wanted to make this? Yeah, what if we wanted to make this? This compound here. Pause the video and think about it for a second. How would you make this? Well, again, it doesn't matter the fact that I see an acetic acid, okay? What I see is one, two, three, four, five. So I see the carbonyl is in one, five position. So I know this is coming from Michael addition. However, because I have an acetic acid sent on, we know we got to use our good friend diethyl malate, okay? Now remember, Michael addition is conjugate addition. So you could imagine, um, if I put a bond right here, you could see my conjugate ketone, and this is the bond that formed between uh, diethyl melanate and uh, the corresponding function. So therefore, if I'm looking at this, I know diethyl melanate, okay? We know diethyl melanate looks something like this. Yeah? And if we treat this with base, we get deprotonation of one of the alpha hydrogen and we create a carbocation. Yeah, so there's my negative charge. Yeah. Now remember, we deal with conjugate addition, so what will be my target? Well, I simply take this whole thing here and it's a conjugated ketone. Yeah. So there's my conjugated ketone. Yeah. Remember, this is end-to-end -end addition. So once I take this these two molecules and react them with, with each other, yeah, I'm gonna get something that looks like this. This carbon is gonna be bonded to this carbon. I'm gonna lose my double bond, which is bonded to that carbon, yeah, which is bonded to this carbon, and that has my carbonyl, which is bonded to that carbon. Okay, and this has my pH, which I'm just gonna shorten. Okay, the so next step is hydrolysis. So once I throw this in acid, yeah, this whole group will go to CO2. Yeah, and remember we hydrolyze and we, we, we form the carboxylic acid. So if I want to redraw the structure, here's my pH. Yeah, there's my carbonyl. Yeah, so there's my carbonyl carbon that is bonded to this carbon, that is bonded to this carbon, that is bonded to this carbon, that is bonded to this carbon. Yeah, and there goes my acetic acid. Okay, 
and this goes the molecule. So again, Michael addition, it doesn't matter if it's acetic acid or synthon or acetone synthon. Again, once I see that pattern of 1, 5, I'm thinking about conjugate addition. And that's the, that's the whole name of the game, conjugate addition. Okay, so what about this one? What if we're given a test to make this molecule here? Yeah. Well, look where the ketones, where well, look where the carbonyls are with respect to each other. We have one, two, three, four, well, yeah, so I call this one. So this is one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. So they're one, five with respect to each other. Okay, they're one, five with respect to each other. So we know, again, we're thinking about Michael addition, conjugate ketone addition. So I could break this bond here, and here goes my conjugate. Yeah, here's my con here goes my conjugate. Okay, so if I'm looking at this, I could get this from if I retrosynthesize this, I could get this from this compound here. There's my ketone. Here goes my conjugated ketone. Yeah, if I break this bond here, well, there's the bond that formed between the two. So therefore, this has become from this compound. Yeah. That has a negative charge on that um, on that carbon adjacent to the carbonyl, the alpha carbon. Okay, okay, but the real answer is how do we get to this structure? How do we get to this structure? Remember, we talked about enamine chemistry. We talked about enamine and stored chemistry. So therefore, if I'm running the synthesis forward, if I'm running the synthesis forward for this reaction, well, if I take this compound here, I take cyclohexanone and I add uh, this molecule here. Yeah, I'll create the enamine. There's my double bond. I have my nitrogen. And I'll bond it to this R group here. Yeah. Now this nitrogen has two lone pairs on it. So. The idea is I'm going to treat this now with the, the conjugated ketone. Yeah, and this will come down from the double bond. And we got to do this in acid, okay? Form the double bond, and this now will be nucleophilic. And that's at the terminal end. Okay? Now, if that is true, we're going to come to a structure that looks like this. Okay, there's your double bond to a nitrogen. Nitrogen has four bonds, has a plus one formal charge. Okay, now this is where my nucleophile will come. This is not bonded to the end of this carbon, that I will lose my double bond. That's bonded to here. Yeah, that's bonded to my ketone. And beside the ketone, I have my phenyl group. Yeah. And the last step, we just hydrolyze with acid. And we say we we'll hydrolyze this with acid, we get the ketone here. Yeah. So in that case, we get this. So here's my ketone. And there's my molecule that we created. Notice that these are one, two, three, four, five. So it's a one, five uh, di, uh, one, five dicarbonyl. So again, that's the idea. Anytime we see these types of pattern, we're going to think about Michael edition 1-5.